Now the fourth year man, it's Cam Akers. And some space here. And able to get this one across the 35 before he's brought down. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pick up as he is sent on to punt. Back to return it, Christian McCaffrey. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Now former six-round pick, it's Elijah Mitchell. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Slot man moves right. Here's Samuel. And the ball is knocked out. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to Purdy from the gun. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 29 yards. catches a week ago. There's another one right there. First down. Here's Mitchell. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That good for the secondary, but they're finally able to slow him down. Yeah, and I've got to look at this one from the defensive point of view. You just mentioned finally able to slow him down. They've got it. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey, his third rushing touchdown on the year. And the 49ers are able to answer. The now Stafford. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, LA. Bryson Hopkins, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Rams are once again back in front. Their first passing touchdown of the ball game, and they go to the big tight end in those sure hands, and he provides the score. Certainly looked like they were focused on taking away other weapons, and he certainly more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forced. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Credit the sack to Fred. The completion for enough yards for a first down. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. Purdy looking to throw. to McCaffrey. Breaks the tackle now with Allen. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. Pushes past it, powering his way forward. And out across midfield, down to the 45. 59 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Shotgun now with Purdy. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. Touchdown, 49ers! Brandon Ayuk, 44 yards. And the Niners have taken the lead. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put them and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And he'll get this one down near the 24. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout. Their second throwing again at Stafford. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 2-2 Atwell from four yards out. And the Rams will take the lead here in the final. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe. He runs. And how about relentless? Keep going, knowing that you may pop one as he just did there. 
There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Big down. Purdy with it on third and long. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A 16-yard touchdown. And the 49ers have taken the lead. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright. Right. And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. It's incomplete. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded at the 20. Shrugs him off. Look at this. Metal breakaway touchdown 49ers just a fantastic punt return of 80 yards and the Niners are able to strike quickly to add the on to their out of the gun Stafford pass to the sideline and pulled in and he will go out right near the 35 yard line they didn't get that done this time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Yeah. But this time, they sent him downfield. He's able to make a big play. Now well, this throw caught left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 30 yards. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Purdy bootlegging it. And he will find his man, Samuel. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. We would love to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught. And he's into the clear. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That good for 22 and a first down. Going right back to Akers. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A game that... They snap it to Stafford. This is Robinson. Now inside the 25. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. Here's Purdy to throw. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Here's Purdy. Looking deep for Jennings. And he floats one there incomplete. Like pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal. We continue play. But if they can find the end zone, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. First throw of overtime for Purdy. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A real letdown to, to throw on second down to Stafford. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple defenders get to him there. Purdy to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 45 yards. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off by a Keller Witherspoon. And the Rams are going to have it with a chance to win the game. Well, it's out there for the taking. We'll see who can do it. In trouble here. Down he goes, back at the eight-yard line. Nick Bosa able to disrupt, so that's it. No double overtime until the playoffs 
roll around, so that means this one ends in a tie. Yeah, that's ultimately unsatisfying for both teams, the fan bases. Heck, for us, we came here to see a winner, right? We did. Winner or loser, we didn't get it. We end up with a tie. Everyone walks away. A little bit, a little bit cranky on this one. Man. Yeah, a little bit.